This video shows how a user would map fonts. Mapping carries forward from year to year. You have two different options of mapping fonts. You can either do it individually or mass mapping. You'll want to log in using your WebGAP username and password. Upon logging in, you'll want to choose the entity and fiscal year that you wish to map the funds. Mapping funds requires update access. If you need to be granted access, please follow your ITC's procedures for requesting access to the WebGAP system. After selecting the entity and fiscal year, you will want to click on the setup at either the top or from the main GAP menu. The maintain fund codes is the option you'd want to use if you only have to map a few accounts. The mass mapping of funds is the option you'd want to use if you want to mass map funds. We'll look at both options in this video. If you have already established mapping in the past, then you probably only have to map a few new accounts, so you'd want to go to the maintain fund codes from the setup menu. From this point, you have the option of running a quick report, adding a fund, or finding a particular fund. If this is the first time that you're mapping funds, then you'll be interested in the mass mapping of funds option from the setup menu. In this first example, we're going to map fund 0019190 to the general fund. We'll want to select the maintain fund codes from the setup menu. In order to map the fund, we'll need to click on the pencil beside the account 0019190. The pencil icon is for editing, and the scissors are for deleting the fund. Once we click on the pencil, it opens up that fund for editing. We'll want to go to the Map To drop-down and select 001 All Zeros General Fund. Once we have that selected and are satisfied with the way that this looks, we'll click on Save. As you can see, the fund 0019190 has been mapped to the general fund. Now we'll take a look at mass mapping of funds. We'll want to go back to the setup menu and click on the mass mapping of funds options. It displays the beginning fund, meaning the fund that you want to begin your range with to map, and the ending fund, which is the ending fund special cost center in your range that you want to map to. The next field is the map to fund which is simply for the above range provided, what account do you want it to go to? Note that you cannot map a fund to itself. If you do, it will cause errors. For this example, we're going to map all 002 9000 Special Cost Center accounts to the 002 All Zero Special Cost Center. Since we cannot map a fund to itself, we want to make sure we start with the first 002 9000 account. in the beginning fund, and then in the ending fund, we want to select the last 002 9000 account. We want to map all of these to the 002 all zeros, so we'll find the 002 all zeros in the map too. Once you are satisfied with the mapping of these accounts, and you, then you'll click on Submit. Once you've clicked on Submit, it'll let you know that the fund range has been mapped, and give you an example of those. You can click on Done and it takes you back to the mass mapping of funds.